What's the best way to manage your time on social media? Who, who has this question? Kind of everybody I meet that is an entrepreneur is like, how do you manage your time on social media without losing it? So I have seven points for you to help you uh, figure out how you can make it easier and less stressful for you. Um, it's based on my experience. I manage different pages, big ones, small ones, my own ones, my clients' ones, my employers' ones, and there are different techniques, right? But when, we, when you're one person, there is a, there are 24 hours a day. So how do you do it in a way that you don't lose your mind? So the first thing is to have a clear goal on what is the goal of your social media platform. So most of the time it's about informing people, uh, educating them, inform inspiring them or entertain them. And most of the time it's going to be a mix of the four of them. So you can kind of have four buckets, inform, educate, motivate and entertain. So once this is clear, this is going to help you for step number two. I have all of them written there. Uh, is to create a content calendar, a social media content calendar where you know exactly what you're going to do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, no matter the week. So usually you can work with themes. So every Monday is going to be motivational Monday or Tuesday is going to be all about you're going to address. Uh, maybe you're going to do a tutorial. So it's going to be about educating maybe on Wednesday. You want to inspire them by telling a story about how you kind of um, help that customer of yours and how you change their life. So you have to figure out a theme per week. So maybe on Thursday is a testimonial, one of your client, and then Friday would be uh, entertaining where you share a video that you find funny or you share a quote, uh, up to you. But the, the, the essence of having a social media calendar is that you don't question what you have to post every day. Okay. Now the number three, you may not like it, but you have to show up every day, no matter how much life gets into it. And I know it happens to me as well, but you know, it's like when you start to decide you go to the gym or you're going to go on a diet or eat healthier. If you start to slack one or two days, you're done, right? We stop being, you know, consistent in healthy or eating or going to the gym. So it's okay to miss once, but don't miss twice because you know what it is after you miss everything and you're not happy and you have to start from scratch and that's okay to start again. But my point here is that you need to show up for them. People who are following you on social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram or other platforms, they need you. Otherwise they would not follow you. Okay, maybe nobody's following you, but that's okay. Show up, show up. And do you know Gary V? If you don't know him, Google him and it's going to tell you this. Just show up and create value for people. No matter if you have thousands of followers or none, just start, go with it and show up every day. So for me, um, if I really feel that I have no energy, I go back inside myself and I say, okay, Angelique, hmm, think of them, think of your avatar, think of what she's going to say or she's going to feel like if you don't show up, like how much, if, 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 it, even if your energy level is that small, but with that energy level, you have that little light that you can bring to someone else who is in the deeper darkness of trying to figure out how they can change their life. Your role is to show up. So for example, today, you know, here it's night. I have two jobs. No, sorry. I have one job, two businesses. I'm a, I'm a homeschooler mom. Uh, I'm a spouse. I'm a whatever, you know, I have a woman and all the issues that women can have, but I showed up because I care for you and we are easy at, you know, providing excuses like, Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, I can do this. I can do that. Those little stories that we tell ourselves just show up. You don't have to be perfect. So number three, show up every day. Whoop. And then I lost my points. So I have seven points or oh, I don't want Siri. Okay. So number four is 
have a photo bank. So wherever you go every day, take photos because once you have those photos on your phone, it's easier to create your post. And sometimes you're going to take photos. You have no idea what you're going to be doing with them, but believe me, you're going to be happy that day. You're super tired and you just want to post an inspirational quote, but you don't have photos to go with. But go back to your camera roll and there are chances that last weekend or 10 weekends ago you took photo that you can use that day for that quote. So always take tons of photos and when you go to restaurants, when you go to parks, when you go with your kids, when you go with a husband or partner, when you go to work or just if something inspires you, take a photo and you never know what you're going to do with that photo. Now the other thing is that number five is that it's one thing to post. You have to interact with people. I would even say it's more important to interact than to post, but let's do both, right? You post, you're done. By the way, you can also schedule your posts if you want to on Facebook. And if you use third party tools on Instagram, you can do it too. Personally, I only schedule when I know that I'm going to be super busy that week, but I'm very instinct, instinct, or gut feeling type of girl. So I like to write on the spot with the vibes of the day. But if I know that I'm not going to be around for that week, I'm going to try to schedule everything. The other thing that you have to make sure is that once you have posted everything, you need to go and comment under at least three to six accounts post, whether it's Facebook and or Instagram. Because it's one thing to show up and just post and expect, you know, interactions from your audience. But usually you have to act like you'd like people to act with you. So if you want people to interact with your post, you better go and interact with accounts that make sense for you. They could be either, you know, kind of uh, potential partners in your niche or they could be potential clients. So never forget that every day. You need to go and comment with genuine comments, asking questions, helping people under someone else's post so that you are part of the game. Because when you're on social media, you need to be social. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is number six. Make sure that every day you monitor your private messages and your comments under your post because you may have posted and maybe you had to go and bring your kids to soccer and then you didn't get a chance to check if someone saw your post and asked a question or commented, make sure that you respond to that person, you thank that person for commenting or you answer their questions, and then you check your private messages that are gold. And then the final point is number seven. You have to feel it. You have to love them. There is a reason why my name is Social Media Love. Like you have to love people. You have to really, really care deep, deep and deeper about why you can help them or how you can help them. This is why they're following you. So your duty is to really show up and build that content for them. Even sometimes if it feels like you're preaching to the emptiness of the world, there are always people watching, believe me. And then you meet them at the grocery store and say, oh, by the way, what did you say yesterday? You talked about this, that, that was so cool. And you had no idea that that person was listening to you. Um, so make sure I recap the seven points. Number one is to make sure that you know what type of content you're gonna be posting every day. So entertaining, educating, motivational or inspiring content or a mix of the four. Number two is to make sure you have a content calendar. Make sure that you show up every day with consistency. Number five, to make sure that you take photos every day so that you start building a photo banks or photo or video banks as well, little snippets, 10 seconds. Then after that, number five is um, to make sure you comment under someone else's post at least three accounts on, or six to three to six accounts on Facebook and on Instagram if you're on both. And then number six is to make sure that you monitor your private messages as well as your comments under your own post. And the final one, number seven, one of the most important is you have to feel it inside. It's not a joke. It's not a fake thing. Social media is so human, right? So if you like that video, um, put your thumbs up. And make sure you download our social media calendar that I have for you. 
it's right in the link is in the description of this video and leave me a comment tell me if i said one thing that you can implement today let me know i really need to know how much i help you inspire you and how i can help you better okay ciao ciao